Okay, so visually we have made a pretty nice edit here using our ripple and roll tools by doing a match on action. But if we look down here, you can see that we have a bit of a problem. Now, unfortunately, the recording setup that I have for some reason is not allowing me to give you the audio that you'd be hearing here. But you can see if I zoom in here, and if I just drag this down a little bit, maybe, you'll see that there is an issue here where the audio changes and cuts with that. So what I wanna show you all how to do is basically how to extend this audio through there so that we don't have this abrupt cut. So what we're gonna do, if we look over here, there's this little lock. This lock basically means that we're not going to affect the video track, and this is the video track here, that's why there's a V. A1 is your audio. And what I'm gonna do, just gonna go over here to my selection tool, and I'm just going to delete this and drag this audio over to here. Now the other thing we can do to kind of fix this cut here is I can drop this down and let's drag that over a little bit. And then if I use my pen tool here, just like we did in Audition, I can just drag this down to do a crossfade. Another way of doing this, just gonna hit Command Z to undo and bring that up there, is if I click on that area where that transition is, we can just right click here and apply a default transition, which is going to be a crossfade. So this will basically crossfade those two together. Once again, I just right clicked or command clicked and added a crossfade. So this way the two will uh, go between each other.